the late Cold War. A man says he doesn't understand my poetry. Frankly, I'm not surprised. I learned to write in a hot desert during the Cold War. We did air raid drills in a schoolyard full of thick-skinned ornamental oranges. We saw dioramas of a fallout shelter where a mother wearing a light print house dress served TV dinners on aluminum trays to children wearing saddle shoes. The man says poetry should be simple enough for schoolgirls to understand. But sir, schoolgirls understand everything. Nancy Drew was in love with the obstacle, not the clue. My nearsighted eyes had adjusted to reading, and by 1962, letters had developed fuzzy antennas like tarantulas or modernism. The psyche rises like mist from things, writes Heraclitus. Sir, when I think of poetry keeping you alive, I know you were entered by incomprehensible light in the hour of lemon and water and the great wound of the world has slipped a code into your shoe. The poem doesn't fail when you set your one good wing on the ground. It is the wing. It doesn't abandon you. <laughs>